Hi everyone, welcome back. In this episode, I'm redoing the pavement of my small front garden. Lately, I did some paving projects for customers. For them, I combined this with uh, outdoor furniture. So this was a good reason to make a video about it. The small space is about nine square meters or about, the, about 80 square feet. Relatively small, but you want to use it as a small seating area and later on uh, a place for nice plants. So far I'm clearing out the old pavers, they are quite worn down by the rains and there are a lot of weeds overgrowing. The weeds need to be taken out with the roots and some soil, otherwise they will return later on. I'm digging an area away from the greens where more paving will come. The total paving area will be slightly bigger than before. Along the edges of the old paving there was a line of long shaped pavers placed deeper in the ground for stabilization. I will keep most of it in place for the same reason. If you like this video hit the like button and consider subscribing. After that, low spots will fill in with sand. The sand is quite sharp and stacks nicely if you would. This stabilizes the pavers on top. This gets evenly raked over the area and it's handy to use a level if you're unsure. Then I could compact it. It always fun to start up a petrol engine. This compacting pushes the ground together, letting the extra space and air escape. This prevents the paper to sift and shink over time. This compacting is really important for paving which gets walked on or driven over. When there's less load, it's less important to do the compacting. After that snap, there will be high and low spots, even if you level it perfectly before the compacting. Within the different ground layers, there are different densities, so it's smart to level after the compacting. Then I could start placing the pavers. First stacking them in an easy accessible place. Having someone handing you the pavers has really speeds things up. These pavers have different shapes and sizes, so they give a playful pattern in the end. The trick is to place them staggered, not lining up the joints between them. This is for aesthetics good, but also for the stability of the whole combination. Leaving a gap here for water drainage. There will be gravel put in place here. When the rainwater flows from the pavement, it can flow into this gap 
this is a great help if you want to make your patio rainwater friendly. In the end, this also gives a nice change into the pattern. At the end of the pavers, I place a long paver deeper in the ground to stabilize and not let the pavers drift over time. Later on I cover this with ground. Then I could place the gravel in the gaps. First regular gravel and then over that the white gravel. This will make the colors of the pavers come out better. Of course later on weeds can peek through the gravel uh, so that has to be maintained. the job done. I did some grass next to it and placed some decorations in the corner and now it looks quite smart. The whole process was quite quick and it was done in less than a day and it really transformed this little area of this small garden. I'm very happy how it came out and thanks for watching.